Today I'll be showing you how to solve your analog drift problem on your controller using DS4 Windows. Obviously this only works for using your controller on PC, not on console. However, if you're using your controller on PC, you can fix your analog drift at least, or at least make it better by using the DS4 Windows application. So the first thing you want to do is open up DS4 Windows, plug in your controller, and then edit the profile that the controller has. And then click on the tab that says controller readings. I do not know what analog stick is not working properly for you. It could be the left one or the right one, but you can probably see which one is the worst one out of the two, or maybe both of them are not good. Ignore the third reading on this side. So what you're seeing is if you hold your controller perfectly still without moving the analog stick, you'll see the approximate location of the analog stick relative to its neutral state. So if I were to move my left stick up, you will see the direction at which I'm moving the analog stick. In an ideal scenario, your PS4 controller should have your analog stick, when not touching it, perfectly in the center or roughly in the center. So if that's not true, then what you can do is actually increase the red dot or in other words, the dead zone of the controller. The dead zone is basically a area or a boundary for your analog stick that prevents any kind of movement when playing a video game. So for example, um, you can see on this side, this is LS meaning left stick, there is a dead zone parameter right here listed as 0 .08. The 0 .08 is the radius or diameter of the dead zone itself. So if we increase this quite a bit, let's see. So if we increase it to 58, you can now see that the dead zone is much larger. That means as long as my analog stick cursor is within the dead zone or within the red circle, it will not activate when playing a game. So if I were to move my character up this far, the character will not move. The character will move once I leave the dead zone and it will start activating. Now obviously this depends on how bad your analog drift is. If it's severely bad, it may not be feasible to do this technique. But if it's minute, such as nothing above 0.1 hopefully, if it's something that small, you could probably deal with it because that small change you're probably not going to notice when playing a game. So again, just leave your controller alone and see how much it drifts and then make your dead zone slightly bigger than how far the analog stick drifts from its at its neutral state. And you could adjust this accordingly on your left stick as well as your right stick. So you could change this to 28 if you wanted to. If this doesn't help your analog drift problem, I do show you in a different video on how to fix your analog drift, which does require you taking apart your controller and you're at your own risk at that point. Um, so if this video doesn't help you, go check out that video. Maybe it'll help you, maybe not. Hopefully we get your controller going. Make sure when you have your dead zone specified for your specific controller, make sure to press apply and then save so that your profile has that dead zone saved onto its profile. So hopefully this helped for those PC gamers out there uh, who like to use a controller. If not, well, I'm sorry. I'll see you in the next video.